Hey, this is College Algebra, Northern Oklahoma College, Math 1513, Chapter 2, Section 1. We're going to determine the center and radius of a circle if given an equation in standard form. All right, this is an equation of a circle, and we call this standard form. If it's in this order, it's real easy to pick out the center. The center is right here and here, and the radius. That's this number out here on the end being squared. So if it's in that order, if it's in standard form, we can just pick up the center by going, okay, my center is H, K, whatever's num whatever number is sitting in those positions, and my radius is that number right there, whatever's being squared. All right, for example, let's say I had a circle, and I tell you the center is 4, 3, and the radius is uh, uh, 9. All right, how would I write the equation for that? Well, I would say x minus, and right here I'm going to put my x coordinate here, my hk. Actually, let me put an h right there. Instead of x and y, we're going to refer to these as h and k when we're talking about a circle. So the center coordinates, my x and y, 4, 3, which I'm going to call h and k when we're talking about a circle, my h is the number 4 squared plus y minus, now what I'm going to put in there is my y coordinate, or when I'm referring to the center of a circle, my k coordinate of 3. And then over here I'm going to replace the r, the radius, with 9, but remember it tells me to square the 9. So x minus 4 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals 81 would be the equation in simplest form. Let's try another one. What if I tell you the center is 3, 5 and the radius equals 2? Well, my equation would be x minus, think about it, all right, what goes in the spaces? Well, next to the x goes my x coordinate. Now remember, we're calling it h and k, but think of it as x. So next to the x here goes that x coordinate over there of the center, the 3. x minus 3, same thing with the y coordinate. I'm going to look at my k and put my k right there. So h and k are my center, and my radius is 2, which I have to remember to square. And writing it in simpler form, 2 squared would be 4. All right, uh, let's try some negative numbers. What if I tell you the center is at negative 4, 5, and my radius equals 7? Well, I would go x minus, remember they're squared, and out there I'm going to square the radius, okay? So what i got to do is figure out what goes here, here, and here. Well, this is my h, this is my k, this is my radius. Up here, my negative 4 is my h, my 5 is my k, and you got your radius right there. So let's plug them in. My h is going to be negative 4. I'm going to put parentheses there just to group that negative with the 4 for a minute. Over here on y minus, what's my k? My k is 5, and my radius is 7, which I have to remember to square. So let's clean it up a little bit now. x minus a negative 4 is really plus 4. My y minus 5 is fine as is. You only want to clean it up if you see too many negatives in there. And 7 squared is 49. So that cleans up to that. Remember to look at your center here, your negative 4, 5, and relate it to what it looks like in the equation. Our equation says x plus 4, yet our center coordinate was negative 4. Our h coordinate was negative 4. And our center says y minus 5, yet our y coordinate was positive 5. So if you can't remember that it's x minus whatever the coordinate is, it might be easier if you just think the positive 4 is the opposite of negative 4, and the negative 5 is the opposite of positive 5. Sometimes that helps if you just think opposites. All right, let's try a couple more. Uh, center, negative 2, negative 1. And let's say the radius is 3. Well, that would be x minus 
my h. What's my h? My h is negative 2. Plus y minus my k. What's my k? My k is negative 1. Equals the radius squared. So 3 squared. And we clean it up a little bit. x minus negative 2 is really x plus 2. y minus negative 1 is really y plus 1. And 3 squared is going to be 9. So notice again, I have x plus 2, yet my coordinate was negative 2. And I have y plus 1, yet my coordinate started out as negative 1. So notice that, because uh, in a minute here, I'm going to ask you to go backwards. I'm going to give you the equation and say, what's my center and radius? All right, let's try going backwards now. x minus 5 squared plus y minus 6 squared equals 36. And what I want to know is, what's the center and what's the radius? All right. If you remember, x minus h, this h is my center. So 5 must be the coordinate of my x-coordinate. And then over here, it's y minus k. 6 is my k, so 6 must be my y-coordinate. So my center is 5, 6. Now my radius, lots of people want to say the radius is 36, but the radius needs to be written as something squared. 36 can be written as 6 squared. That means my radius must be 6. Alright, what about this one? x plus 2 squared plus y minus 4 squared equals 49. I'm going to go right to the center here, and I'm going to say my coordinates are negative 2 and positive 4. And it's real easy if you think opposites. So if you see a positive 2, your coordinate is actually a negative 2. And if you see a negative 4, your coordinate is actually a positive 4. That's a quick way of doing it. Now, if we want to do it the long way and think it through as it looked like in the original equation, it would be x minus negative 2 if we wrote it officially. So negative 2 would be your h. And over here, it would be y minus your k. Your k is 4. So 4 is your y coordinate. Now, 49 can be written as 7 squared. That means that my r is my 7. So center negative 2, 4 with a radius of 7. All right, one more real quick. What's my center? My center is going to be negative 5, negative 6. Why? Because this is x minus negative 5. And remember, it's x minus h. So my h must be negative 5. Over here, it's, whoops, that's supposed to be a y. Change that to a y. Over here, it's y minus negative 6. And in our equation, it's y minus k. That means negative 6 is our k. And our radius can be written as 9 squared. Remember, it's supposed to be r squared. That means that 9 is my r. So radius equals 9. All right, what would you do if you saw this equation? If you were looking for the center and the radius. Remember our center is h, k. So we're looking for h and k. Well, it's obvious that k is my 4. No problem there. And it's obvious that 5 must be my radius. Okay? The h is the problem. Well, a trick to get around this is to rewrite x as x minus 0, because x minus 0 is still x, and x squared is still x squared. So we haven't changed anything. We just rewrote x squared as x minus 0 squared. And now that we've done that, we have our h. So center 0, 4, and radius 5. Same thing with something like this. Think of it as x minus 0 squared plus y minus 0 squared equals 10 squared. And you've got your center and radius. Center is 0, 0, which we call the origin. And your radius is 10. All right, now one final thing they might throw at you is they might ask you to write the equation of a circle with the given center. They're telling you the center is 2, negative 1. 
and they're telling you it passes through the point five three. So they're not giving you the radius. Remember, we need the center coordinates and the radius to write the equation of a circle. They gave us the center coordinates, but they didn't give us the radius. We're going to have to figure it out another way. So if I was just going to do a real crude drawing, you don't have to graph this, but they're talking about 2, negative 1 is my center. I'm going to mark it C, and it passes through the point 5, 3. So if I go 5 to the right and 3 up, that's going to be the outside of my circle. So it's going to, that's a quick sketch of what we're talking about. Here's the point 5, 3. And there's my center to negative 1. So they're saying you have a circle that has that center and goes through that point. Write me the equation. All right, well, a good way to start is with the standard form of our equation. x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. Now, we already know that h and k are the coordinates of our center. So that means the 2 is going to be my h and the negative 1 is going to be my k. So what do I have so far? I have x minus 2 squared plus y minus, what's my k? Negative 1 squared equals, what's my radius? We don't know. That's what we're actually looking for. Okay, that's what we have so far. And if I cleaned it up a little bit over here, this y minus negative 1 is actually y plus 1. So let's clean it up a little bit. That's what we have so far. Now what we're looking for, remember, is radius. Because we can't write the equation unless we know the center and the radius. We know the center, but we don't know the radius. So we have to calculate the radius. The problem is we have uh, two more variables here. that are, And we can't solve things with three variables. We have to get it down to one unknown variable. So what we're going to do is we're going to borrow an x and a y just for a minute. Where do I find a good x and y? Right over here. This is a good x and y that we can borrow just for a minute so we can finish solving our equation. So I'm going to pull out my x and put in my x of 5. And I'm going to pull out the y and borrow that 3 up there just for a minute so that I can do the math and figure out what r is. All right, so here's where we're at so far. And then we just kind of clean it up. Remember, you always do parentheses first. So doing my parentheses, I have a 3 and a 4. I have to remember to square it. After you do parentheses, you do exponents. So I raise 3 to the second power and get 9. I raise 4 to the second power and get 16. Then after you do exponents, you multiply and divide. We don't have any. So next, I add or subtract. So I add my 9 and 16 to get 25. And to get r alone, I'm going to have to square root. Now remember, every time you square root, you get a positive and a negative answer. So the square root of 25 is 5. That means my radius is 5 or negative 5. Now, remember, we're talking about distance here, radius, distance. And a distance of negative 5 makes no sense. So we're not going to use that answer there. We're going to use radius 5. Now that we know our center and know our radius, we can write our equation. All right, our center was 2 and negative 1, and our radius was 5. Let's just bring everything else down. So x minus the 2 squared plus y minus, careful here, y minus the negative 1 squared equals 5, which we have to remember to square. So clean it up. We have x minus 2 squared. That stayed the same plus y plus 1, because minus a negative 1 turns into plus 1, equals 25. So that's the equation given that center and given a point that it goes through. Just borrow the x and y, figure out what r is, and then start all over and write your equation.